What are the first four prime numbers? We have two, three, five, and seven. We do not consider one to be prime. Prime numbers can only be broken down to itself and one. Let's find the prime factorization at 27,000. 27 times 1,000 is the same thing. And we have 9 times 3 is 27. And the 9 breaks down to 3 times 3. 1,000 is the same thing as 10 times 10 times 10. And we can break down this tree to 2 times 5. And notice how we're circling the prime numbers. These are the nodes, the children, or the apples. So we have one, two, three twos. We have one, two, three threes. And we have one, two, three fives. So this is the prime factorization. What are the factors of 12? What numbers fit into 12? 1 fits in, so does 2, 3 fits in, 4, 5 does not fit in, but 6 does, and we have 12 itself. So remember, the numbers 1 and the number itself are factors. What are the prime factors of 24? First, let's list the factors. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 fits in. So does 6, 12, and 24. Now the word prime means that the number has to be a prime number, which includes 2, 3 is a prime, and these are not prime because we can divide by 2. So the only numbers that are prime factors are 2, and three. Let's find the GCF and LCM of 10 and 15. We have the numbers 10 and 15. It's nice to draw a little L here and think about what number fits into both 10 and 15. We choose five. Five times two is 10 and five times three is 15. Does anything else fit into two and three? No, these are already prime numbers, so we're done. So this number here, five, is the GCF, the number on the left. And the LCM is all these numbers multiplied. So the GCF is five, and the LCM is five times two times three. So 10 times three is 30. Let's find the GCF and LCM of eight, 12, and 20. 8, 12, and 20. We draw the L, and what number fits into both 8, 12, and 20? We can choose either 2 or 4. Let's try pulling out the 2. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 6 is 12, and 2 times 10 is 20. Now the question is, can we draw another level here and pull out another common factor? And we'll pull out 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 5 is 10. And now we're done because these are all prime. So the GCF are all these numbers vertically being multiplied. So the GCF is 2 times 2, which is 4. And the LCM is all these numbers multiplied this way, forming the letter L. So the LCM is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 8 times 5 is 40, and 40 times 3 is 120. Let's try this question again, pulling out a 4 instead of a 2. So we can be a bit more efficient by pulling out the GCF 4 right from the get-go. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 5 is 20, and we have all prime numbers here. So this here is our GCF 4. 
and the LCM we multiply across this way. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 6 is 120. So 120 is the LCM. Let's find the GCF and LCM of 6, 20, and 30. We have 6, 20, and 30. What fits into all of these numbers? Let's try 2. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 10 is 20, and 2 times 15 is 30. Now, the rule is, if we can't pull something out of all the numbers, we're done with the GCF. So indeed, the GCF is 2. However, when you look at the three numbers here, as long as two of them have a common factor, you keep on going. So we can pull a 5 out of the 10 and 15, and the other number that does not quite work, we just bring down. We pull down the 3. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. Now remember, the 5 here is not part of the GCF. Now we look at this row and ask, is there any other number we can pull out of at least two factors? Look at the 3 and the 3. We can pull out a 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. And the 2 drops down for a free ride. Finally, the numbers 1, 2, and 1 are all prime numbers. We're done. So the LCM is all these outer numbers multiplied. So the LCM is 2 times 5, which is 10, 10 times 6, which is 60.